We have season 20 and it's going to be a big deal for ladder. Mmm, it's an orange juice. This is probably going to be one of the smallest updates we've ever covered. Season 20, the Forbidden Palace. Now, ladder is going to reset 25% instead of 50% because of that little ladder trophy matchmaking mistake that they did around December where they've made that little trophy tweak that made ladder obnoxiously hard. That's their way of kind of apologizing and fixing the issues. Just like last year, February is going to be insane and it's probably going to be where you want to climb to ultimate champion. If you're usually a 6k player, you might actually be able to hit 7k this season this is the arena icon it's got a bit of snow as usual we have the tower skin that's limited you can only get this at tier 10 by the way if you want to support us code oj is the way to go for real though we get a small kickback from that and january cpm is really really bad so i really appreciate all of that for the season pass all the package deals everything if you enter in the code now it'll be in effect when the season pass comes out in the game just because the code expires every seven days so tier 20 we have the e-barb is this a valentine's one I, I shot. And then they have the other e barb emote. He's licking an ox candy because it's year of the ox. This one's going to be available in the shop. Lunar emotes, from my experience, are usually a bit more pricier. There's a new theme song in there, too. That's a big deal. There's never a new theme song. We'll play this at the end of the video. But for now, let's check out the arena. You have two golden oxes on both sides of the bridge. Nice little details on the side there. You have a lion king tower. That's insane. And the princess has a ring on the front. On the back, it's got nice, big, golden gated doors and a staircase on the king tower on the top there. It's like they're not even trying anymore. <laughs> Three losses and you're out. Losses don't matter. There's a new game lead position in Clash Royale. Are you as sure-handed outside the arena as you're in it? An exceptional leader who inspires by transparency, engagement, and example. Well, then you know precisely what to do. Thank you to everyone that's tagging me for this for the Juicy News Network. So a strong strategic vision for the team, proven track record of growing a game or business, experience leading a game and dealing with a community of players. Honestly, if you hit these requirements, Helsinki is one of the best places in the world. Supercell is one of the best companies, in my opinion, that you could work for. They don't even sponsor me to, to pitch this. I mean, they do pay me by creator code, code OJ. Well, other than that, they don't actually pay, pay me to say stuff. So interesting thing that Ash mentioned is that there's a major switch up in the Clash Royale team over the last six months. There's going to be a new game lead. There's an opening for business operations and a data scientist and a senior server engineer. And the community manager position has been removed. So there's going to be some restructuring. All right, all right. So what's the big deal here? No legendary and a super mega ultra lightning chest from Warhammer. He's got a barbarian. Zap. Yeah, and then there's a rare, and this is where the legendary should... Where's the legendary? There's no way someone edited this. If they did, there's way... They spent way too much time on that. Drew actually replied. He said he's never seen this happen before, but 100% contact support, and they will help you. They have logs of everything and why this happened. I wonder if the odds of getting a legendary chance isn't 100%, but it's 99.9999% chance, and this was an unlucky one. So that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to play this music to end off this video because I really enjoy this rainy music. I'll see you all around and enjoy the music.